Oh, yeah, so let me go and take them off real quick before they burn up. <laughs> uh, and then I'm at my best friend house cooking now. And I said, you know what? I've been watching your show and I've like, I've been seeing these people on here. And I said, I'm single. I need me a man, baby. Okay. You need these new men. Your name is Deetra? Yes, Deetra. Where you calling me from? I'm calling you from Georgia, baby. Georgia. How old are you, Deetra? I'm 32. 32. What you do for a living? I'm a medical assistant. Medical assistant. Yeah. Um, you have any kids? Yes, I have. Uh, three sons and two daughters. You have, you have five 32? kids? Yeah. Five kids? She said, I need a man. I seen your show. I seen your little show. I figured I'd pull up. I need a man. Like, like this is the drive-thru yeah. for men. Like, like, this is the Wendy's of men. You know, just pull up, order one off the menu. You know, you're going to pull around. You're going to get it in your bag, put it in the car. And I mean, <laughs> hey, yeah, you right, though. But you gotta think about it though. That, I mean, Kendra got to set up like that for them. But it, you know what? Least, but it's working for him. And she, if, if if Kendra got success off of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, here we go. We had this conversation. She don't. The very <laughs> thing. The very thing a woman can get off the Kendra show, she can walk and get it from her local bar or go to Walmart. She can go get dick from anywhere. That's true though. And that's they, true they though. But no husbands on here. And yeah, that's, that's true though. But you gotta think about it though, bro. You gotta think about it. It's motherfuckers that actually probably hollered at her, was in her face, like on some respectable shit, all that shit. She rejected them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my, and she figured, hey, it's my bitch Kendra will get me together. No, it's delusion. That's the disparity. Yeah, yeah. Bean, we, 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 we already covered this like to where it's less than 1% chance, actually 0.01% chance of getting the actual hookup on this show here using this platform. So technically, you can literally go to your Facebook and, and you have a better chance of just saying, yo, who want to go out tonight and have a drink? And you're going to have a better chance doing that than That's actually right. stepping on this Kendra platform. Right, that's true. right. You you absolutely right about that. But I not that's what. But see, I don't know if Kendra like actually got success like hooking these motherfuckers up and shit. You know no, what I'm saying? That's so, what that's what about, so that's what I'm saying. Like, so say if I meet me, her out and about, boom, she reject me. But boom, then she go on the Kendra show and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm like. Boom, she reject the motherfuckers in in in, in, in real life. They want what but they she want, the Kendra. Brother. Yeah, she wasn't the kid. You remember she said, "I'm look. I need a man, so I need to get up on here." Well, they're not a man. They all want the same man. That's what I'm saying. That's what the show. That's sort of the theme of the show. If you can watch episode after episode after episode, the theme don't change no matter what the woman look like, what her situation is. They all want the same man. They could be. She could be 25 or 65. She could be 300 pounds or 120 pounds. She could be a supermodel or she could be a hand model. It don't matter. Right. About the same exact guy. That's what we're trying to say. So I hear what you're saying. You can walk up to her and holler at you. They want what they want. They want what they want. It's delusion. It's called delusion. It's a, it's one word that sums it all up into a nice space called delusional. My oldest son is 14. I got a 12 year old. I got 11 year old, 10 year old, and a five year old. All about the same man? Yeah. What, was you married? I was. I was with him for 15 years. We got married in 2015, and we just recently got divorced in March. Why did y'all get divorced? Oh, uh, because he liked to beat women, and he's a narcissist and all types of stuff. So yeah. Aww, so, well, I'm happy you're okay. Do y'all co-parent well? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. Aww. So so she must be iron man because she she dealt with a man that was whooping on her ass for 15 <laughs> years 15 years whooping her ass and putting babies up in her and nobody <laughs> called the cops nobody <laughs> go to the hospital the, is that, uh, that, they got, she said one baby daddy if i missed that no yeah it's the same it's the same man is she lying is that cap she's saying Oh no, so she got five kids by one man. By one man. And was married to this man. Mm, yes. Yeah, she yes. was married to him. Oh. This 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 ass being narcissistic evil man. 
And all of a sudden, and he didn't unveil himself until after five kids, huh? Yeah, fifteen years, five kids. Okay. Or he'd been doing it all along, and she just tough as nails. Don't know whatever how you want to call it, tough as nails, dumb as a rock. <laughs> it's it's cap. Here we go. You can't. What's there's three sides of the story: it's his side, her side, and the damn truth. You cannot listen to her side. But oh, that's and there we go. We had to happen on this panel. You hear what she saw? She not here. Narcissist beat my ass. The women and then and Kendra, you always gonna get the same reaction out of Kendra. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, give us some more context. What's because it don't go down go. like this. Let's bring Kev back in the room because one thing Kev he would not let that slide. He would mm -hmm. ask you, did this motherfucker go to jail? Were there charges filed? Don't just come up here and say shit miscellaneously. Words mm -hmm. mean things. If a motherfucker was abusive, don't don't just come up here and say that. Say, look, Kendra, you jumping on me. This motherfucker locked up. He done did file whatever. But don't be like my was abusive, but nothing ever happened. And no, you know what I mean? Stop. Stop. Yeah. I don't give a damn. Don't hit me with all the fucking victim Olympics. She was scared. She did this and that. Love. Fuck all of that. Ladies, mm -hmm. PSA. If a motherfucker going upside your head, call the cops. Get the, Put them people in his life. Put them people in his life. Get that motherfucker locked up. And all you women out there that got your concealed carry, do what the fuck you got to do. Don't come up here bitching and telling me about some motherfucker who been whooping on your ass for decades. I ain't trying to hear that shit. No, because and the reason why because you gotta you got to prove this. Don't just come up here saying a man beat is a narcissist and whooping on you because that is oh that's condemning that man. He's he ain't worth a damn. As guy was saying, for fifteen, people years, in his life, for huh? 15 years though, bro. And then for one, as soon as he hit you the first time, why the fuck you didn't leave the very first time? But you talking about some 15 years, that means you adore that shit too. That's what like, I said, if that's true. That's real shit. Like, and, and some of the women out there don't get offense. Don't get offense, but I don't want to hear, oh, oh, you know, maybe she, she couldn't get out. She, she got to deal with it. No, the bitch could have got out. The bitch could have been bounced. All that shit. So the you know what I'm saying? No woman should shouldn't have to deal with that shit. Period. So, so like you know, it, 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 you can't really take every situation the same. And I, let's let's start off there because, you know, you know this woman again. She was with this dude for 15 plus years. She, dude knocked her up obviously fairly quick. Knocked her upside the head. Now she got two kids, and where she gonna go with her two kids? You can't just dip when you don't really have a, a somewhere to go, especially if your family fucked up. And let's say, you know what I'm saying, he knocks you inside the head. Yeah, you want to go. But you yeah. thinking about your kids whole time. So there, you, you technically I there because that, you went in his place. So, bro, like, situation, that, situations are different. And then, you know, you, you women are scared. Like, you know, what the fuck they about to do? Like, and in some people's lives, again, think about this. She watched her mother get her ass whooped growing up. So for her, this is somewhat normal. So yeah, this ain't just starting with her. Yeah, but bro, but this bro, ain't just starting with her. Time, bro. That's not, not, all I'm saying is this, this this did not just start with her. This started with her mother and then her grandmother. This is a norm. Yeah, it so it, 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 it went down the train. It went down the train. But you got to hold up. Hey, 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 guys, hold up, bro. I just got to get this out, though, man. I just got to get this out. But it's a point in time. You got you can get the fuck out. Ain't no, you can get your kids and bounce. I don't give a fuck if you're married or not. You 15 years, bro? That's a lot, bro. So were, were you... That's a were, fucking lot, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. Bro, I grew up... What, look, listen, bro. I grew up watching my mom getting, getting hit on, bro. My mom got us the fuck out of there, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's a pick... It's a, Point in time when women can pick and choose. Again, I'm not saying shit, that. Bro. Once again, everybody. The first thing I said was everybody's situation is different. That's the very yeah, first thing bro. I said. So again, we don't know her situation. Your mom, she might have had some support system where your family might have knew that she was getting beat. Nobody might have not knew in her family. If they did know, who gives a fuck? They probably didn't give a fuck. All I'm saying is that we can't take every situation the same and that oh it's it's easier said than done. Don't you think that most women that want to get out of the relationship, if they ha can just pick up and go, they would? Most of these women don't even work. The man is working, so she ain't got no job. She can't get no money from the fucking hotel room. Where the fuck is she supposed to go if she ain't got no support from her friends or family? And she got uh, five kids. You know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Five kids. Yeah, that's a problem. We're working on probably. Maybe she was 
smoking Hold on, and Willie, 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 into. Willie, Who knows? Willie, you know, so let's, 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 I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be the one that 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 takes the bait. So D Mac, let's say that everything that you're saying is true. <laughs> Well, I'm not. I'm not saying nothing is true. No, no, I'm no, saying that. I'm just saying the I'm situations saying is, are different. I'm not speaking what I'm to. Saying is, let's say your hypotheticals are true. Let's say they are. You're saying that we don't live in a day and age of technology. We don't live in a day and age where we're calling nine one. Nine one one is a phone call away. If she's getting beat on, like she says, she has marks. It's it's impossible to get your ass beat like that. And deal with somebody that's abusive, quote unquote, and not have any marks on you. So you mean to tell me that when she is getting her ass kicked and he was done whooping her ass because at some point in time he had to stop or else she wouldn't be here right now. She didn't think that, hey, I should call the police. Absolutely. And Listen. She was like, I'd rather stay. Bro, that's a common thing for a woman to get her ass whooped and she uh, stays. It's not uncommon for that. But, but, but women but are the best at hiding this kid. So they're, they're, they're professionals at covering that shit up and hiding that. What do you mean? Look, let's put but, it like this but here. What you're saying right now is it's okay to do that. Let's put it like this here. All right. It's not, okay. That's bro, not okay. Hold on, D I'm not. D hold on. D Mac. D Mac. Go I ahead. you, bro. I'm specifically asking you is it okay to do that? And if to, it's to, not okay, then why aren't we making her take accountability for doing that? Is it okay to get your ass kicked and stay there? So, 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 check this out. Um, uh, uh, yes or hold, no? Hold on, I'm, okay? I'm gonna answer that. I'm gonna answer that question, but it's gonna it's gonna be in a different situation because you guys gotta understand it's a more mental thing than it is physical thing. You guys are thinking as men. Men are simple. Men are more a str lot stronger than women. Women are a, a weaker vessel, right? So check so this. So, 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 so hold on. So hold on. So hold on. I'm about to answer bro. your question. I'm about to answer your question. So hold on. Uh, 70% of rape the victims do not report it to the police. Okay? Think about that. Correct. Correct. 73% guess guess them what? to be exact, guess right? But hold on, D-Mac, D-Mac, before you go down that rabbit hole, a lot of men don't report when they get raped, so that statistic is off. Okay, so look, so again, so you, I'm, you I'm, we're talking women, we're talking women, them. we're talking women, so I'm sticking with women. A lot of men do not report when they get raped, so the statistics of rape are off. So I'm Please talking women out. because we're, we're talking women, right? So we're speaking you're on right, women no, here. You're talking, you're I'm talking, talking rape, about rape women, women. I'm talking about women being, I'm thinking about the weaker vessel in their mindset is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about men, the stronger vessel. You guys are talking about women getting their ass beat. Let's talk about how the niggas that don't talk, tell, tell shit about getting them getting their ass beat. But we're talking about women, right? So I'm talking about women on the rape side as well, because again, understanding the mindset of the weaker vessel is where this stems from. So 73% of uh, victims do not report it. So in this case here, you guys will say, "Oh, go tell this and that and the other." You gotta, gotta, you gotta understand that women, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a trauma thing to them. The where it's, it's, it's hard for them. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go fucking tell the police. I'm just saying the mindset. Once this happens, their their mind mentally it's fucked up, so they don't. They're not thinking. All right, Let me so say this real quick, sir. Let me say this real quick hold on, hold on. because because y'all kept saying fear. Only part I disagree with is when you saying these women are staying because they're scared and fear. I don't know if y'all ever seen a woman when they're in fear. You ever been around a woman when a fucking spider is in the house? They won't they go in the fucking, They won't go back in the fucking house. When women Correct. are scared of something, they really scared. So we can't say these women are scared of these men and they will not like with these men. It's not fear. I don't know what the fuck that is. But I'm not saying that. fear. I understand, I understand what you not. said, Darnell. It's, it's, it's a, a mental crazy. thing. You know what I'm saying? Again, this, a, this, is, a, this is passed D down. You know what I'm saying? From, from again, wow, fucking interception. This is passed down from fucking, you know, again, watching their mothers get beat. Again, specifically because these are normal people, and all of a sudden now they're getting, they getting, they've been a statistic, a statistic that's, out that's, of nowhere. But DMAC, DMAC, I want you to ask yourself logically where did that statistic come from if they're not reported? If, if how can, how can you know 73% of aren't reported? Because you, you're looking at, you, you, you're looking at, you're looking at the, the volume of rapes that are out there, right? That may, they may have told somebody. I don't know how they come up with that stat, but bro, it's a true fact. Bro, it's, it's a true fucking fact. To look at the volume of rapes if they're not all being reported. All right, so no, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it like this. I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. I know myself personally. I know myself. Know two people personally, 
And, and this is just me being close to them that I know that they were multiple times, but with uh, did not report it to the police. Me specifically, personally. You know, see, I'm sure you guys, if you kind of close to some people, you probably know some people too. You may not know that. We talking apples and oranges, though. We can't compare with salt. We just can't do that. It's the same. Yeah. I mean, it's damn. Near, it's it's the, what I'm saying is oh, oh, in that case, bro. it's not the same. It's not the same outcome. But mentally, it's the same. Mentally, it's the same. Uh, Gav, that's what I'm saying. Mentally, it's the same. Be mad. Be mad. Be mad. Were you there when they got? That ain't the same. Were you there when they got? The people that I know weren't there when they got. Then it's alleged. And if they didn't report it and they didn't press charges, then once again. It's hard to speculate. You can only go off of their word. Well, guess what? Words aren't always solid. So again, that 73% is a false number. It's a narrative. If it's unreported, how can you make a number up of something that's not reported? You can do it. You can easily find that out, bro. It's not hard. You're basically doing surveys. Bro, Everything don't have to be reported. It's, it's literally surveys. You ask so many people, and out of those certain amount of people, and you kind of calculate it, bro. Surveys. That's just simple. That's just like doing taxes, bro. If you don't report all, right, the, all the income on your taxes, they ain't going to find out what number you didn't report. They're going to go listen, by the number. I'm still surviving. I take care of my babies. I love my babies. And we good. So it is what it is. It is what it is. It's all good. It's okay. This is Detroit 32. Medical assistant. She has five kids. Georgia. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? My birthday is April 8th and I'm Aries, baby. Is it Aries? And she was once mm -hmm. married, just got divorced this past March. What kind of man are you looking for now, honey? I'm looking for a man who is financially stable, comfortable with himself, and just honest. You know what I'm saying? As long as you can be comfortable with yourself and be honest, that's all I really care about. I don't need no more narcissistic behavior. I do not need no man who want to hit on women. I don't need a man who's going to degrade a woman. I just want a man to just be all for love, period. That's, that's it. Okay. Because I get my What's own true? bag, so I don't need no man for nothing. But hey, if he got it, it sure is a plus, okay? So that last part again, I think I cut you off. You don't need what? I said, I I don't need a man for anything because I always make sure I have my own. But if you got a plus set, it's okay too because I'm more off with the corn, baby. She said you got to be financially stable. Then she said, I don't care what you make. I don't care about your bread. You ain't got to have no money. <laughs> and that's why I'm not going to stop talking on both sides of your neck. You got five kids and you want a man to come in there. She, they always going to tell the truth when they lie <laughs> somehow. First, oh, I don't matter what he make. Well, no, second, don't matter what he make because I got my own bag. All the lies and the ego. Oh, man. Hey, got hey, yo, ego. Single, single mama five with a bag. Come on, man. We got to words mean things. They do. Yeah. Call him, man, narcissist, and he beat women, all this. Again, 15 years. Y'all got to stop. We just had the whole Me Too movement and all that stuff. And the whole believe all women is just as just that is just as detrimental as believing all men can't stop stop if a man can't be talking about all oh, this there you go how often do you really hear uh men in masses like say oh she wasn't no good she wasn't that most times you hear do say oh, i screwed up or you know it didn't work out but they never yeah you know, i have never heard do say oh she was just terrible man she was awful but a woman come up here and say dude was a rapist a woman beat a narcissist just straight off with his head nothing and that's it's it's insane. And then you want to come here talking. They don't oh, even know what it means. They don't. Even, they don't even know what that word means. They don't. Like we gotta start here. Kendra should start asking. Do you know what that means? Like you can't just let people come up here and just start saying shit and doing shit without holding them accountable and to the fire. Like what the fuck. Yeah, narcissist. Y'all understand? You didn't have five of his kids and all that. A real narcissist probably would have tried to take you out for leaving him. Y'all, y'all tripping. Y'all don't get it. Don't get it. And again, and then woman camper ever said anything bad. They did only a couple, one or two, literally one or two out of the hundreds come up here and say that they actually did something wrong. Seriously. She up here like, oh, I did nothing wrong. I got my little wig on and everything is fine. Making pork chops. I'm up all that. I'm over my friend house making pork chops. Y'all yep. do those bizarre shit, man. Come on. I'm on. Is you homeless? No, you're talking about you get your. Let's, like real oh, shit, real shit. 
I don't, I get it. I get it. Women are different than men, but holy fuck. Ain't no way in hell, Willie. I'm about to come over your house and start frying pork chops. <laughs> I, I digress, though. I, digress. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm fucking happy. I don't know. <laughs> you got money, you said you all for it. All for it. Okay. Candy, okay. yeah. Okay. So what's some deal breakers for you? Deal breakers for me, like I oh, said, no. um, wanna be this up, cheater. Baby. Hold on, hold on. Your Wi-Fi is messing up, Detroit. Oh, right. um, my deal breakers are cheaters, liars, and men who um put their hand on women. Don't have respect for those type of men. Okay, because the guy have kids. Yes, he can have children. Do you want more kids? Um, I would opt to have more kids. Um, if I want to be in a serious relationship, maybe my husband. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Do you, um does he have to look a certain way? I prefer um a light skinned man, but I don't I don't judge. Like I ain't got no type for real. As long as you're decent, that's all that matters to me. As long as you're decent. Okay. Yeah. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um 50K and, up. 50K and up. Does he have to be in, um, what part of Georgia are you calling me from? I'm in Columbus, Georgia. Does like, I'm an hour away from. And even in this case, here we are. Because a lot of times we say these women are shooting for the stars and they want a man making six figures. But even in this scenario, here we go. Because because it's all sort of have their own individual case by case. And in this case, 50 grand is 100 grand. This is like fucking Bangkok or some yeah. shit. <laughs> this is like some other, it's translated to 100 grand in her case. Yes. You get it. Mm -hmm. A man with 50K walking into a woman with five kids, that would be a godsend. She don't even get it. She, she said don't? that like, yeah, 50, at, at least. Listen, you better drop that down to about 22. <laughs> they, they don't understand. Yo, chance a single a woman that's single with no kids, her chance of finding your man is less than one percent just because of that 50k. Just off of the 50k price tag, you don't even get it. Just off of that alone, it don't matter, it don't matter how you're getting it, just 50k or less than one percent. You got five kids, you do the math. It's the math is simple, it's fool's math. It ain't that's for a woman with no kids. Her chance of finding this dude. 50k less than one percent. Now she got five kids, been married, supposedly allegedly been beat on, trauma, just got just got been married for 15 years, just got divorced last whatever earlier this year. <laughs> As Kevin would say, you got to give at least yourself at least half that time you've been with that guy to get yourself together. Find the nearest monastery. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and put on the whole nun guard. Start praying and, you know what I'm saying, teach the children. You know what I'm saying? Pass out wafers on Communion Sunday. It's over. It's and over. You know what's bad for her? She ain't that old in the sense of a woman with five kids. You see what I'm saying? You would think she like 45. She what, 32? 32. So that's a young woman. To have that amount of kids, that's a lot. He that She belonged to him or the streets. They don't get that. She either belonged to her ex-husband forever or the streets. But there shouldn't there shouldn't be another husband. She said, if I have another kid, it'll be by my husband. She is extraordinarily delusional. 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 My goodness. Uh, and PS says, PSA, lady. All ladies. It can sound critical, but the, the smartest thing she could have did and what all y'all can do when y'all face with this moment. When you get to this bridge, stay with your motherfucking husband. Figure it out. There's too many cautionary tales of women simply leaving men. Women, y'all leave 80% of the time. Guys are not leaving their wives. Just ain't. It ain't a smart move. Motherfucker get married for a reason. We are logical. Men don't get married off of a feeling or emotion. We get married because it makes sense. So motherfucker ain't too much fucking trying to get divorced because he did what made sense. Y'all do some shit that don't make no sense. That's why you quickly to just walk away because it didn't make sense in the first place. Y'all didn't even know what the fuck y'all was signing up for. Didn't make sense to get married. Didn't make sense to leave him. And now it shows how it don't make sense being here on the Kendra show. No, and now this. the goddamn show don't make sense to be on single by day. <laughs> you, see, you see how life snowballs? And this is why I said before. 
if you end up here, I'm trying to tell you, we two motherfuckers from the backwood country. So if you end up here, you done fucked up. Yes, that is for sure. Woman here, man. She got five kids. And like she said, she said, man, just got to make 50K. But like, man, Willie was hitting on. In her circumstance, 50K is like 100K to, a, to an average woman. Because you got five kids. You'll be happy if a man with 50K walked in here and decided to man up, right? They, she just said that like, uh, 50, I guess them, them 50K niggas are do Like, bitch, that's as good as it's ever going to get for you. She be fucking washing his feet every night. So... That, you know what? That's that's that stability stuff, man. Like, fifty k is is a lot to a broke person. To somebody who ain't stable and ain't got it, so it's a lot. I ain't saying a man shouldn't make it, and I will not disclose what I make. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm generating three different ways. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? There's a that, that's what that's the problem with society, man. Teacher thirty two is a medical assistant. She's a Columbus, Georgia. Five kids was once married. Can we do the Kendra cam? Oh, yes, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Let me see this body hanging. Yes. Hold on. 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 There you go. That's, real quick, real quick. That's huh. what I would call. That's what I would call the modern day hoodoo body. What do that mean, go. people? That means that's a woman. It's, it's purely genetic. A lot of it ain't even genetic. Here we go. A lot of these women, I guarantee you, she never stepped foot in anybody's gym, right? A lot of these women simply in shape because they fucking sick all the time. They don't eat. They fucking. You gotta understand. She gave birth to five kids, right? You expecting her to be all big 300 pounds. No. And then at the same time, that's not an in-shape body. That's a body. You don't know what's going on with that woman. Look closely. She ain't never did a squat or ran a mile. Couldn't have said it better myself. Correct? Exactly. And and that's, yeah, that's not, that's not discipline. That's hoodoo. That's an illusion of discipline. That is just good to know. We've seen it time and time again. And like she said, that she, she just gave you the best she got. She said, I, "I've been waiting for you to say do the Kendra cam so I can show you this body because that's all I really got to offer. Anything else been taken, include my body, but it's still remnants of that left. Here you go, have at it. That, that body is uh, that's not that's not that's that's more genetic. Un, that ain't no gym body. That ain't I worked on it. You know." She probably was a tiny chick having all them babies and just gained a little bit of booty, man. And that's, I mean, it's just an example of what's left. What's left after all the aftermath. And a lot of them get used to after you've been ran through, flipped around, tossed, all that. She now come off like a hoe. She was out there in the Nobody streets. Nobody wants that shit. Her husband was trying to keep her home. He was trying. Here we go. Huh. Here's Nobody, what she said. And, and she you said, know what? Gonna... It's men, when we get that knowledge, <laughs> cut them mother lovers off. That's it. Cut them off before it gets bad. That's the whole it. damn tornado. Save yourself. Or they oh, will wow. have you crying and shit, walking around all sad, puppy dog, doing cocaine because you mad and sad. It ain't <laughs> worth all that. Fuck that. This is what I said, every right? damn day. It ain't worth that. It ain't worth that. She said, Y'all better get a picture of this ass and she, this body, this and that. Here's what I say. Because you're talking a lot of shit. Go ahead. Because she got her hand on this shirt here, like you can see. Pull that motherfucker up and let us see what's up under there. Go ahead. Go ahead. That oatmeal pie, baby. Go Go ahead. Ahead. Break, break go. out the oatmeal pies, goddammit. Go back to the man that gave you that oatmeal pie. And there you go. Don't no man want no oatmeal pie that he ain't fucking made himself. If I ain't put that motherfucker in the oven myself, I don't want it. The fuck? Motherfucker out here serving motherfuckers of the man's oatmeal pies. That's another man's oatmeal pie, goddammit. Get that man back his damn oatmeal pie. Real shit. Make sure it's warm with a glass of milk. 
I don't want it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Y'all talk all that shit. You got five kids. Be humble, goddammit. You ain't working out. You ain't fit. You know what the fuck's up under that shirt? I'll leave it at that. <laughs> ain't not gonna like that, baby.